Okay, we are live. Hi, hello. What's up, Kitty? All right, we are live. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I am Kareem Clemens, and this is, uh, yep, the political process. And I am playing president because I uh, definitely uh, won my reelection, and uh, I will be in the game at the year of 2033 to 2041, my second term. And you know, I was just thinking because when I play uh, as the president and I do the two terms, right my right right my uh, term is up, like right my four years is going to be up. So what am I going to do next? And I and I was thinking about that really 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 hard and i was like well maybe i'll have i won't have a job and then i was i was just gonna be like well i'll just go back go back in and just get some of the u.s representative under my belt get the um get the uh the u.s senator under my belt get the uh, campaign regionals under my belt just get all that stuff under my belt knowing that i held the highest office in the land and that was that is the president of the united states of the and Amer of America in the game. All right. So um, yes, today is Friday. It is 10 16, 2020. First of all, I want to say um, I want to say uh, I want to apologize to my people over there on the Pretty Bitch Club. Uh, this morning, I do know that there was supposed to be a new uh, new uh, uh, morning with me, uh, but that got canceled because of the weather. I was going to do that outside, but it got canceled, so I apologize for that. Okay, so thank you guys so much. Uh, yes, yeah, so um, this is uh, episode eight. It's episode eight right here on this Friday. Again, I won my tw uh, 2037 president campaigning, so I'm definitely going to be doing the 2033 to 2041. Thank you so much. So, yes, hello to you guys. Hello. Uh, shout out to those who are on YouTube. Uh, shout out to those who are on. Uh, we actually we have um, Periscope today with us. Uh, last uh, episode we had the Omega Studio News page with us. Uh, we had them uh, featured here. That was the first time that I ever did the political process on that game, uh, on that page. So yes, yeah, shout out to them and everybody over there. And also, um, shout out to everybody over here on Periscope and also to YouTube and on the Political Process uh, Facebook gaming page. Hello. How you doing? All right. So um, where I left off at, I definitely left off at the, um, I, I was definitely going to be meeting with my um, cabinet members. Definitely. Right. Because, uh, so yeah, so let me just go ahead and do it. All right, so good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Uh oh, what's, what's happening with you, Bullhead? Uh, okay, so good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Today is, uh, we got to change that. Today is actually Friday, and um, this video was um, postponed from Wednesday hump day, but I definitely uh, put it on today. So yes, so um, happy Friday, and um, well, TDIF. I won my reelection, and now the president. I'm the president for four more years for 2033 to 2041, two terms. As far as the House, Democrat 58 percent and Republican 48 percent, or 42 percent, and the Senate, Democrat 53 percent and Representative 47 percent. Started my second term as uh, a term as the president. General events are meeting with the Secretary of Treasury, Alticults, Chul Health and Human Services, and Transportation, and I'll be meeting with my Attorney General today. Breaking news from the uh, the news, uh, City Jersey tax reform happening, New Jersey uh, state law tax reform decreased the first, second, and third tax bracket, along with this decreasing corporate tax and sales tax rate. And also, of course, you guys know that I already enforced this. The national law HR1 cannabis sell tax at a rate point 2.50%. And I'll also be creating a budget. Join me right here, right now. And I know some people was like, well, 
you know, the uh, the sales tax for marijuana may have, I may have overdid it. That's what some people, my constituents were saying. But then I'm like, well, you know what? I think at some point we will see, we will see how much money will be generating uh, when I do my, my budget. Okay. All right. So, uh, just get a couple of beer. Okay. So, uh, let me go ahead and do that. And, you know, I, and I tell people and I say, listen, I know we're trying to maintain the, uh, the uh, metric and trying to do what we need to do for the nation. And I know it, it said like, it's going to get worse before it gets better. But again, ladies and gentlemen, I definitely was the president for four years. It's impossible for me to do it in three years within my last year, having my presidential campaigning up again where I won. And then now I'm here full fledged uh, for my second term. So, you know, we're going to get into this. We're going to look into this. We're going to see what we can enforce. We're going to see what legislations that we can pass as far as the House. We have Democrats have majority of the House at 58 percent. And as Senate, we have the majority of it. OK. And uh, again, uh, I was told that some people in my departments and now, mind you, I have to meet with these people because um, if, you, if, we, if we see here, and it reads, your secretary treasurer has retired has, and, and was replaced, right? And also, um, I can select a new candidate for the position by going to the department tab, my secretary of agriculture, and I'm supposed to be meeting with these people. And I don't even know, this is the first time I'm meeting with them. So they're probably like, oh my God, I'm meeting with the president of the United States for the first time. So it's like, I got to be on point when I'm delivering the um when I'm delivering the uh, the report to him, so yes, yeah, so I'm, re I'm uh, my secretary of housing and urban development has retired and replaced. Now, mind you guys, um, for uh, for democracy, member, uh, you could replace your cabinet, and I don't think that they will allow you to continue without having you know those positions filled. Now, right here in the game, as it shows you. It tells you already that um, that it's they retired and it's they've been replaced. So we don't even know. Well, I think I know because I actually seen it uh, who they replaced because you don't know if they could replace it for a libertarian, a conservative, or moderate. And they do have that as Democrats, okay? Not just Republicans. So it uh, fits on both sides. My secretary of transportation has retired, has been replaced. Also, uh, my administration and small business has retired and been replaced too. Okay, so let's get into the game. As I already told you guys, this happened. Um, I already raised this amount of money for my next campaign. Hopefully, I have a campaign. I don't know what type of campaign it will be. Uh, maybe I may be doing the U.S. Senate or something. Uh, but who knows? Okay, so scheduling. Now, mind you, um, I can come over here and well, we'll see here who 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 are my um who are my people, my new people. Okay, so Treasury, hello, uh, President Clemens. The current national debt is twenty seven trillion seven hundred billion two hundred ninety eight million three hundred eighty seven thousand which is approximately 69,272 per citizen. And they have saying that we have paid already 287 billion, $96 million on interest for the debt. And that did not reduce the debt and it provided no public benefits to our constituents. And they're saying that the federal deficit this year is a total of 7 billion, 60 billion, million five hundred twenty thousand five sixty two and to reduce the federal deficit they recommend raising taxes um this will allow us to continue funding important government programs by increasing the federal debt now mind you i already implemented the um the cannibalist taxes right i definitely definitely already implemented that and i definitely wanted to see what how much money thank you for that report 
um, how much money is going to generate at a two, I'm sorry, at a 2.50%. We'll see that in the next uh, in a, uh, budget report. Okay, my second tag, out to cultural. Uh, President Clemens, it is good to see you. The Supplement Nutritional Assistance Program, such as SNAP, also known as the Food Stamp, currently provide nutrition assistance to 53 million in, uh, individuals. Help reduce the poverty effect by 1.5%. And the program costs about $68 billion, $69 million. And the WIC, uh, which is the uh, Supplement Nutrition Assistance Program for Women, Infants, and Children, provide assistance to about 600, I'm sorry, 6 million and reduce it by 0.1. And this is reducing it by 1.5. And this is a cost of $4 billion. And the uh, the need based lunch program currently provides seventeen for seventeen million to reduce lunch to two million students, and that's uh, thirty five percent of students receive assistance uh, from the federal program. That's about nine billion. So again, all this money you see here, here, and here. The taxpayers' money, ladies and gentlemen, this is the taxpayers' money, the money that is coming from out of the citizens' pockets. So just like the report that we just read from our uh, 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 report previous, they told us to increase the, we may, have, we, may, we may need to raise taxes. But again, if we're helping and providing almost, uh, almost 13, 14 something billion dollars, it's like, you know, we can go ahead and reduce this even when the policies, you know, again, again, it's going to get worse before it gets better. You feel me? So the Need Breakfast program currently provides breakfast to 17 million, and the breakfast is about 200 million students. That's 35 percent, almost like this uh, program up here. Thank you for that report. All right. So um, the next will be housing and urban development. President Clemens, I have been looking over the data and also. Uh, I mean, and it appears that the country has approximately 1 million homeless, at least 1 million homeless individuals, and they're saying, of course, uh, the 100% has access to some form of homeless shelter. Remember, that was when I seen that before, they had access to permanent housing, which, if anything, maybe it changed. They said it have increased by 1%. And they're saying the public housing currently provides assistance to two 2 million families, and we calculate to help reduce poverty about 0.5. So thank you for our report, Black Brother Hill, uh, Hank Hill. All right, so Secretary of Education, uh, President Clemens, the current graduation rate students in our country is 86.6%. Well, 86 and since 30, 2036, the graduate rate has increased 0, 0.0. That's nothing. You may want to consider increasing the public funding and improve the graduation rate. But well, how is it that if we got a 0.0? I think for that report, Trent. Uh, Secretary of Transportation is saying, hello, Elizabeth Hudson. Are you related to Jennifer Hudson? Hello, President Clemens. Currently, I can report that approximately 88% of the interstate highways are in good condition. Roughly 43% of the road experience some congestions. Reducing traffic flow, I recommend increasing increasing road construction budget and adding more roads more lanes will reduce congestion if the government does not have enough funds for a road project you could always increase the gasoline tax now you know if i increase them gasoline tax they are going to be on me but you know what it is my four years i'm starting my next term so it's like you know damn if you do damn if you don't thank you miss elizabeth hudson tell jennifer hudson i said Hola, como esta? Secretary of Health and Human Services, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, wherever it is. She is saying, it is good to see you, President Clemens. Our reports show that 86% of our constituents have access to health care. And since last year, access to health care has increased by 0.0%. Hey, y'all go with the 0.0%. Are y'all going to actually show me numbers? Or are y'all just going to just show me just nothing because obviously if it's increasing by 0.0 .0 that means it's, it's nothing you ain't showing me no numbers unless it's supposed to be 0, .0, 0 point something i mean if it was then show me something but 
It is what it is. Medicaid provides health coverage to 38 million individuals or 10% of the population of a cost of about 240 billion, 714 million. And Medicare provides health coverage to 84 million. Uh, that's about 21% of the population. It costs about 1 trillion, 34 billion, 444 million, 707. Thousand seventy five dollars. Thank you for that report, Secretary of Health and Human Services. I'm saving my Attorney General for last. Uh, the the Commission on Social Security. What are you saying? Uh, so our name is Ms. Delgado. All right. So um, President Clemens, Social Security provides financial assistance to approximately seventy million individuals at a cost as one trillion four hundred eighty four billion. $538,125. By my calculation, probably 37 million retirees would become um, impoverished without Social Security. Thank you very much. And now, my Attorney General, I saved you best for last. Uh, that's only because you're going to give me something a very, very interesting report, right? Interesting report, a very interesting report. And she says, President Clemens, the federal prison system currently house 550918. I got to get that in 550918 inmates at a cost of 18 billion, 104 million, 156,000. We currently have a federal program designed to reduce recidivism. Great. How likely inmates are committed to second commit a second crime. And she's saying that you might consider increasing the number of rehabilitation offered by the federal prison. I, and I've heard a lot of good things about drug court is an alternative to imprisonment. One of the benefits to reducing the prison spending. Thank you. And the reason why I saved my attorney general for last and saved this last statement is because um if I'm not mistaken, uh, I don't know if I did this with Karima or I don't know if I did this with me, but I'll check and see by going to the metric and then coming over here to laws. So as of now, um, we have um, uh, we have the cannabis marijuana tax, which is in place now. Education, uh, I just want to come down here to the drug courts. Okay, they're not in play. Now, that was what Karima. Now, um, this is what she's referring to. I don't know. Let me see. I'm my okay, damn, it's not gonna be anything. Okay. All right, so I don't think it was I don't think it was here in this game. I think it was in the one I was playing with Karima. Right? Uh yeah, I think it was. It was, it was. Because I had passed like I, I'm not, I had passed, but I was trying to um, get the drug courts. Uh, maybe, let me check to see one more place right here. Let me see, let me see, let me see if it went through. If it did, I don't know. Uh, okay, here we go right here. No, it didn't. It didn't go through. But this is what she's referring to. And I think as Karima, I was trying to pass legislation for, um, for um, this to happen, the drug courts. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on. We already know that. Now it's the uh, the create the federal budget, and I have already received two million in political points as well as money for the Democratic Party. Okay, the federal budget now. Okay, so now there's a couple of things I want to check on. First of all, let me come and read his report. And okay, we already just went through this in the beginning. So now let me come to the marijuana taxes and then we're gonna see how much money uh, this, we're gonna see how much money this is generating uh, from or what it, how much it will generate at my 2.5 or 2.5. 50%. Where are you at? Where are you? Where are you? Okay. Um, 
Okay, there's no sales tax yet. Tobacco tax is at 1.0. Okay, here we go. So it's creating 1 billion 319,000. I'm sorry, 1,319,528,000. So that's how much that is creating at 2.5%. So some people was like that was too high. And I'm saying it, it it should be up. If you want to, if you want to sell marijuana in the in the states, and you want it to become law, which it is at a national level here in the game, and we're allowing you to smoke it, eat it. Um, use it as healing process, whatever, but we're doing it at a capacity where we're trying to get money from the fact that, okay, if we're going to implement these services, then y'all got to work with us. And as you work with us, then we will be very much leniency towards you. So I think that this is leniency. I could, I could raise this up. Like that would be how much I had a hundred point zero percent will bring in a total of fifteen billion three hundred forty one million eight hundred eighty eight thousand nine hundred thirty eight dollars if I really wanted to be uh, on that on that bull crap okay but I'm not okay so I'm just gonna leave it at the two point five because I really believe that um that uh that's that's the billion wait did we have it? Then then I say it was gonna be up. Wasn't it up more? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wasn't we already bringing it? No, okay. Uh, no, it was at two point five. Don't do that, Kareem. It was at two point five, two point five zero. Okay, so we we're bringing in we're bringing in approximately. Uh, hold on. Let me just fix this here. Boom. We're bringing in three hundred eighty. Three million, not billion. Excuse me, three hundred eighty-three million, and that money that is going to be brought in is going to be going to where? It could be going somewhere. It could go towards our um, transportation. It can go to our roads because they're asking for that type of money, right? And that's the only reason why I implemented this so we can, so I won't raise taxes. You feel me? Because if I raise taxes, it's definitely people are going to be pissed off at me at the first, second, third tax bracket. And we ain't worried about the fourth, fifth, and sixth tax bracket because they make well more over a lot of money. Okay? So according to, and you guys already know what I'll do here. I'm just going to go ahead and balance the budget. Uh, we don't really have anything to work with. I definitely know that I, I think, I'm thinking that our national debt has went up. Uh, we do have Medicare trust fund, which is here in the green. Uh, Treasury is strapped. We have about $498 billion three hundred twenty six million in a whole as long as our as well as our budget deficit um okay so the health and human services matter of fact i want to come down here to the department of defense i want to see if i could go ahead and do these drug courts wait where the courts at well i could do these drug courts at because i'm really trying to push for these drug courts How, where do i find these drug courts at um it, let's see, Department of Justice. What's she saying? Is this this it? Okay, so the drug courts. Okay, so we have, and I thought, and, and that's what it was because when I implemented one of those services or uh, legislation as Karima, uh, as a U.S. senator, uh, they were saying that it was bringing in more people into the federal, into the jail system. So let's see, defense. Where can I find the drug courts at? Um, let me see, drug courts, drug courts, State Department. 
And again, you know, that money that is being taxed from the marijuana can be used towards um, certainties of this, like the money that is coming from our corporate tax, our gasoline tax. Matter of fact, I'm going to, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm I'm definitely not going to do that. I'm definitely going to just balance the budget, but I want to see something. State Department looking good there, Commerce, uh, Barrow Census. Um, Nassau uh, Environmental Transportation is the transportation right there that needs more money into uh, maintenance as well as um, our road congestions. Road congestions. Uh, Department of Labor would be our jobs, unemployment, payroll taxes, and the training unemployment service. Um. Yeah, hold on, let me see. Um, yeah, I know, I know, I know. I'm 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 definitely definitely flabbergasted at that as well. That the uh president, the current administration, the current president had the obligation to do a virtual speech on yesterday for our second debate and he just opt out. So they definitely did town hall meetings and then our election is no more than like a couple of weeks away. Uh, like right around the corner in November the 3rd. And people are really doing register early day uh, voting early. So that's something that's kind of great. And then, you know, certain states are definitely prepared for the long lines. And I say do it early now so you don't have to be online if it's going to be long in your state. And I say get there early. Always do it. Early bird gets the worm, honey. Early bird gets the word. Okay, so um, so let me see my Social Security. What, what a report Social Security is saying, honey. She's saying, yeah, we just got a lot of people. On. I did give y'all a report on that. So, yeah, so basically, um, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Okay, so let me try and do this. I know that we have a Democrat and Republican um, House and representatives. So I want to see if we can do this. If anything, this is going to be helping out. I'm going to see if we can do this. I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, the drug court. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Even though that just brought our um, treasury like all the way up. See, like all the way up to about five. Now we're negative there. And then um, matter of fact, let me just start off with one. And then I'm just going to bring the money down on how much we just apply into these services. Because um, if, if who's to say if this doesn't, if this can work, we can add more money into it. And then the money that we tax from the other stuff will be implemented. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and start the drug courts. Okay. Provide grants to states and cities for the administration of drug courts. I'm going to go ahead and start that. Go ahead and Put a low, low budget on that. What's the lowest we can go? I'm gonna just gotta start about uh, twenty, about let's see, thirty-seven million. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start on drug rehab programs, city jails. I'm gonna go ahead and not put that much into it. I'm just gonna go ahead and add in about mm, uh, about five, five million. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is, let's see, drug rehab costs state prison and federal prison. Mm -hmm. uh, provide, now let me see, honey, let me see. You saying uh, federal prison is spending $18 billion so far on 550 inmates. And, 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 and according to the, the metrics, it showed the number of crime uh, increasing not decreasing. Praise God. Okay, so um, so yeah, so hopefully we can see if that pass. And you know, I get to do a federal budget every year. So basically, it's best to get everything in now. And then we can and then or maybe I can just do it and ask for it throughout the time or of my year. Okay, if we have the money, because people are going to be coming to me left and right asking me, to implement these services into something that we don't have. So if we have these services such as the drug court, I'm sorry, the drug, the drug courts 
And the drug rehab, it's not like we're putting that much money in the total. Uh, here would be about 45 million, 46 million here. Uh, between there and then we're going to go ahead and do the, uh, wow, damn, look how much money they ask for that. That was the budget request before one, one billion on this, and this vocational training at city jails, providing grants to city jails and administrative vocational training and programs and inmates increasing their likelihood to find out a job after being released which reduce their chances of returning to prison. And again, uh, that's good because again, uh, uh, you have some people who say when they leave out of jail, they can't find a job because they're on probation and parole. And, they, and the, 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 uh, the, uh, the job world, they say, well, we can't hire you because just like being on parole or probation, it's like having an open charge. So, um, does this service really, really works when it comes to uh, finding a job after being released? What type of services that they provide? What type of uh, their um, their literature show for people to re really, really, really rehabilitate them? Right. So uh, that's something that would be looked at. And if anything, uh, the numbers of people who are in the vocational training that's like school. So would the number of people who are in school, like would these people not only come out and try to find a job, but would they actually likely go out and go back to school? Because vocational training could definitely train you to get your GED or your, um, or your high school diploma. I'm just saying. Uh, so I'm just going to just allow this to happen. And as my four years of president, I'm, I'm going to just slowly but surely implement these services and talk to my constituents and see what the uh, the um, the challenges is, if anything. I'm definitely not going to get rid of the ex Medicaid expansion. I, I, I've looked at it. It's saving a lot of people. Again, the money that will be coming out from the pockets of those who would like to smoke marijuana, uh, definitely can pay for the services at hand. At this time, I'm going to go ahead and balance the budget. Okay, at zero, zero, I balance the budget. I'm going to submit it. Okay. Okay, so I'll take this time out to say hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to those who are here on Facebook, YouTube, and also our people over on Periscope. This is the political process where I am the president of the United States. This is season one, episode eight, 10, 16, 2020. I've won my 2037 president campaign presidential can uh, for 2033 to 2041 two term. Hello. Right. Because if you come to my profile, I have gray hair now. They just really overdid it right now. I'm 61. I started out when I was 39. And again, I'm from New Jersey, City, Jersey. I rose through the ranks. Uh, I was a community organizer. I was mayor of City, Jersey. The candidate for uh, president, I lost. And I became it again. Then I became a, a Democratic nominee for president. And then I lost, and then I was the governor for four terms, and then the Democratic nominee for presidency yet again for my job was on the line, and then the presidency is over in 2041. So I think once and that's over with, my two, my term is up. I don't think I've I seen any politician. Um, and let me just be frank here. Let me even see uh, the Rankins here. Let me even see this guy. He's been the president for how long? Two terms. So I don't know if he just retired or what. See, two terms for Trump. Uh, he he didn't seek re-election two terms, and yeah. So I don't I don't know. Like after all, like is it, it, I never really I never really heard anybody like going through the um, you know being president for like four terms, two terms, four terms. So we shall see. If anything, I'll just run for U.S. Senator, okay, or something where we can do some legislation and passing of the um, passing of laws. Okay, so we balanced the budget, okay, and now we will see here, 
Uh, where will be our taxes? Now we will see the tax. Uh, okay, where, where, where do we start seeing the, um, the tax that is going to come in from our um, cannibalists? Um, that'll probably be under other Department of Homeland Security, state, because I want to keep an eye out on that because, again, I, that's again that's what I want to uh, definitely, definitely watch out for to make sure that we can use that to put that into other um, services. Because, again, these other places are going to ask us for service money and we ain't gonna, we're going to need it. We're going to need the money. Okay, I don't really know what that's going to be yet, but the law definitely has it in play. And then I think if you come all the way down here, we may have this and this. Okay. Yep. All right. Boom. So we come here. Bills S1 submitted. S1 and S2 legislation on the floor would be uh, provide grants to fund states, the local drug courts. Um, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I uh, provide grants to fund state and local courts. Uh, are an alternative solution to sending drug criminals to possession. Oh, thank you. Oh, this is hot. Hmm. Drug courts uh, that treat prisoners to en encourage drug addictions to complete the drug rehabilitation program. If they drop out of the program, they will be sent to prison. And if they complete the program, their sentence is commuted and the rehabilitation process is decreased li their likelihood of, commuting, of committing a future crime. The details is established, the program funding and determine uh, appropriate process. So, um, so my thing is this. Okay, let's look at S2. S2 is um, the, this provides grants to the city, okay, the city and county jail to establish maintain rehabilitation pro programs. Uh, such programs help reduce prison recidivism rate and likelihood to commit another uh, crime. So my thing is, I'm thinking that these two bills are going to go to the Senate and the committee that that's going to go to is probably the Judicial Committee. Okay, I think that's going to go to the Judicial Committee or it's going to go to, um, it could go to the appropriate committee, but I'm thinking it's going to go to our Judicial Committee. And then let's look at anything else. Do we have any other? Um, I don't know if it will be considered a homeland security um, issue. Uh, budget, that's something it probably go to because, you know, it's requiring um, that much money to be uh, distributed out there to them. And um, yeah, so let's go ahead and move that forward. Let's see where it goes. All right, so Senate Judicial Committee told you, because um, that's exactly where our uh, cannabis went to, cannabis. And again, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know, and um, don't get me up here lying. I don't know, but in the game, we're just going to be saying we say this, sorry. Uh, the, the game does not implement uh, what type of marijuana it is, so we're just going to say uh, it is medical marijuana. Okay, medical marijuana, it is being distributed out since uh, that's the case where uh, we would just put it like that. Well, the money that is going to be implemented will be for uh, dispensaries. How about that? Okay, so according to my messages, it's telling me that S1 has been assigned to a Senate Judicial Committee as well as two. And uh, the chairperson has uh, uh, granted my bill, S1, S2. For hearing, I received political influence, and also uh, my S two has is, is made it to the committee for a vote in like eleven to nine. 
and S1 has done the same thing to 11 and I. So we come here, we will find out where our bill is at. Um, now, again, like I said, this is probably happening because we have a House and a Senate, which is majority of Democrats. You feel me? So that's probably why this is happening so quick. Okay. All right. So, uh, it's saying that it's been approved by the Senate, of course. Uh, and um, my legislation S one S two has been approved by the Senate, and it definitely. Okay, uh, I'm I'm confused there. So, like I said to the developers, if they still develop in this game, it'll be really nice to have like a button right here in the front where we can just, like you see the schedule, we can follow, like press follow. And then instead of going to legislation and over here, you know, we can just, this will come up once we press that follow button and we can see the legislation history instead of going to the tab and all that. But I understand everything is a work in progress, so it is what it is. Make you want to work more, especially add in more all hours, spend more time on the game, get to get get familiarized with, with the buttons. Um, hold on, let me see something. I think I'm still and Patrick Leahy listening to Judge Barrett. Okay, so yeah, so we understand that there is a Senate confirmation going on for the Supreme, well, Supreme Court confirmation hearing uh, for the judge, Judge Amy Cohen Barrett, faces questions from the Senate, Senate Judicial Committee, the same committee that this, uh, this bill had gone through, um, the committee for the Senate uh, no, that will be federal and Senate and the committee. She actually was um, uh, questioned by these people, all these people. Okay, so that's good. That's pumpkin in here. With Judge Barrett, is that mm. Judge Barrett wouldn't speak about oh, the case of Planned Parenthood, which is the case that happened after Roe. Oh, you guys, hold on for a moment. Here's exactly what Judge mm. Barrett said. She said, I don't have an agenda to this try to good. overrule Casey. I have an agenda to stick to the rule of law and decide cases as they come. Mm -hmm. You can't stop it. Casey essentially is established right, that you can't. Um, okay. Uh, you can't so, yeah, so she will be going over there to. So that case. She'll be going over there to the Judicial Committee, but she was already had a hearing already. I think they're going to be uh, voting on her Senate confirmation on next week to see if she becomes judge or not. Pretty sure she pretty, pretty much she probably going to be, become a judge because the Senate is more Republican than it is Democrat. And if we had that case for discussion, then if it was more Democrat, Republican, she wouldn't make it. If more Republican, Democrat, she'd make it. That's why he went in made his a nominee um, to go into the Senate. Okay. So apparently my, um, uh, okay, so I'm thinking that this, the House, okay, the House has made it through. So definitely they have gone here and it has come here to go to here and then from these people right here. Okay, so they were probably questioning like, whoa, wait, and these guys was like, nah, man, like, no, 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 no. All right, so uh, let's go to here. Then we come here. Also, I made a little bit of money for my next election, also for my Democratic Party. Okay, so what happened? Oh, let's go to the news. Okay, so, okay, for the drug court sponsor by Kareem Clements has passed in the Senate and veto a vote 52, which is not a veto, and a criminal habilitation. Okay, that's the name of it. And then a Senate majority leader has said he expressed uh, a position to S2 criminal rehabilitation, quoting, I believe that Kareem Clemens have written this legislation with the best intentions, but I do not believe it would be good for our country, and I must oppose it. Again, everybody not going to be on your side. Like I said, he is a, he's very liberal. liberal liberal but he's a conservative when it comes to the social ideologies 
right? He's compassionate, ordinary, intelligent, and he's promiscuous. Um, his history. Uh, see, let's see. Um, oh, he's a surgeon. He's a doctor. Oh, nice. Okay, so um, all right. I'm sure he's definitely not going to be. Oh yeah, he definitely is on that. I didn't pick this guy. Oh, okay. I didn't pick that guy. He 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 was already there. Okay. Uh, let me just take a look at this just for uh for uh media purposes. Okay, so let me just see the rating here. I think that will be going up. Economic per capita is going up. Poverty down. Oh, that's going up. Education, taxes, health care, crime. Okay, so again, those drug courts and our drug rehabilitation uh, courts will help out with that, hopefully. Infrastructure is always going to be a problem. Oh, well, it looks like it's going down. It looks like it's going down, according to that. Immigration, I haven't even, I, I haven't even seen anything on immigration. I haven't even received anything on um nothing. Let me matter of fact, let me just go go here and go. I have not seen anything on immigration. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Cause you know, I, I wasn't even given no opportunity of, you know, when they was talking about the um the uh visa pass and stuff. Like I, I remember they was like uh they were when we was listening to the debate and stuff. They were saying that they were going to issue more visas. How and where? How do you get that obligation? Hold on. I'm going to come here. Um, office, legislation, create legislation. Okay, immigration. Family immigration. Provide immigration visas to individuals who have family members in the country. Oh, it's a false. True. Oh, provide immigration visas to individuals who come to. Oh, so wait, let me see. I can increase this. Let me see. Can I? Or, oh, okay. Okay, here we go. Now we're talking, baby. All right. So, oh, shoot. I like this. Let me see. What would, would, would they really get mad at me if I do this? I mean, workforce, workforce and immigrant program limit, the limit of number of people allowed to enter your each year 141,000 so let's go up to let's see if we can add some more on here no i want to add some more some more add some more we have 140 right let's see 141 that's 100,000 1,000 another 2,000 3,000 let me do 5,000 and let me see what this is going to say this is no okay continue Yes, I did something for legislation, and it don't really say anything about the. I already know that, brother. It don't say anything about. Um, let's see. Um, that's kind of interesting. Let family legislation, uh, immigration. Excuse me. Well, legislation for immigration, uh, work visas, and that's something that I've seen when my uh, my opponents has said that they will uh, limit the amount of visas that they will implement in giving. It don't say anything about the wall. It don't say nothing about our um, our um. Oh shoot! Wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh, 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 oh my God! Okay, so I just learned something. Okay, so I can give out visas from work immigration. Diversity, immigration uh, visas, encourage diversity in the country by buying visa immigration with country with low immigration rating, and refugee provide immigration visas to rev Let me see. So seventy thousand. The limit is the number of people allowed to enter each year. 
Oh, okay, 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 okay. And then let me see the uh let me see this here. The limit of number of people allowed to enter each year. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. Got okay, I know I can't do it. Um okay, got you. And then the pathway is what provides a legal an illegal immigrant with the opportunity to live in a country legally and eventually become and process becoming a citizen. The pathway to citizens will not be provided to immigrants with criminal records. Note this legislation has one time effect of allowing current uh, illegal immigrants to pathway decision. Any illegal immigrants who enter the country after this legislation is passed will not have a pathway to citizens unless the legislation is passed again. Uh, it says false. So I think I want to do this because, again, this is a pathway to citizenship. I say what we're hearing or what we're reading here or what we're seeing here is that the, the illegal immigrants with the opportunity to live and work in this country legally and eventually become in the process of becoming citizens. So that's saying, like, if you go to your, um, if you go to your, um, your library, you will see that uh, there is a lot of information where people can take the citizenship test. And they could become citizens in this country. So I think that right now, well, I can't do it now. I have to do it quick next um next uh term. Uh not term, the next week. Uh I can go ahead and put this as true because we want past ship to citizenship. I don't see why we shouldn't have we don't have that. And I think once when we do that, we'll probably get a report on that. So I'm just gonna come out of here. Go to here and then go to next term. Okay, uh, real quick before I go and do that, let me because um, I have 40 hours remaining. I'm just oh, damn, I don't know. Okay, uh, hold on, let me just go to um, legislation, immigration, pathway to citizenship. Yep, true. So that could go straight to okay, so so far. If it says true, it says immig illegal immigrants receiving visa is at 7,845,586 this, this time. So there's none on this so far, but they're giving us the number right here. So I'm just going to kind of continue that and see what happens. Okay, now let's see what's happening on the floor. Okay, so... Apparently, S1 and S2 has been approved by the House. All right. So we got 249 and 186. And uh, they are, uh, they requested a hearing. So now we have it right here. The Speaker of the House is saying, I support, I fully support the legislation. The message from the Senate Majority Leader says, the legislation is exactly what we need. Now, Libertary from, uh, Libertary Caucuses, has opposed it. Moderate Republican caucuses has opposed it. No need. The Republican Conservative Committee has opposed it. Okay, they're not really happy of it. Uh, the second, the Socialist Conservative Democratic, uh, they support it. They said the legislation will have effect of those effect uh, considered before deciding on the vote. Members of our caucus have decided how they will vote. They support it. But the uh, the moderate Democrat coalition, they don't support it. And my group, the people, the progressive, they support it. So would this S1 drug court legislation be into play? Of course it will. Damn, I wanted to see the analysts. Okay, just go to the next one. Okay, so... Uh, hold on. Let me see. Um, wait, 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 wait. Legislation at a federal. What was that? Is this my F3? Okay. Uh, now, okay, let me see. Let me see real quick. Let me see real quick. 
All right, so S2, the crim the crime rehabilitation uh speaker of the house is saying what? I think you have created some great legislation. He supports it. I hope you will not sign this legislation. I know he was one of them that said he didn't support it. That's the model, that's the guy that I had took out to. I see he's very conservative. I mean he's 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 very libertarian, but he's a conservative as a social ideology. So I knew he was not going to um, uh, support that as well. And as well as the Libertarian caucuses, they are opposing. Don't look happy. The modern Republican caucuses are opposing. They don't look happy. The Republican Conservative Committee is opposing. They don't look happy. The Socialist Conservative Democrat is opposing. They definitely don't look happy. However, the moderates and the Democratic, the public Democrat, they are uh, uh, saying that they cannot wait to, they say that this is uh, the legislation for everyone, as well as the progressive Democrat is saying the legislation is for everyone. And is it going to become law? Of course it is. Let me just take a look at this real quick. 249 in the House. 53 in the Senate. Yep. Oh, what she say? Hold on. My bad. Sorry. Nor the Attorney General's testimony. She said that a full funding level of this program will cost approximately $498 million or 0, 0.0 of the total budget. And a full funding would provide rehabilitation in 171,007. That's a lot of inmates. That's a lot. That's, that's, a, that's what I'm talking about. Let me put this back. Let me say it again. The program will provide, they need to fix this, take this you out, Re provide rehabilitation service to 171,796 inmates. And I support it. Another piece of legislation under my belt as President of the United States. So, uh, again, my um, HR one, which is legislation for the immigration, has made it out into the House uh, Committee, Judicial Committee, uh, and I received some points. My S two and my S one is into law, according to the news. Uh, right. Yep. 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 In week seven at twenty thirty seven, move right along. Okay, so um, let me come here into legislation. Okay, hold on. Okay, so that's immigration. Now, let me come to, because I haven't really uh, touched immigration, but I just did a few minutes ago. Now, let me come to the infrastructure. What more can we do with the infrastructure? Let me see if we have any type of legislation that we can create in infrastructure. No. So technically, so technically, hold on. So technically, uh, I can only create legislation in education, poverty, health, immigration, veterans, crime, and other. Um, what is the social service? Provide funding for social service program which reduce burdens of poverty. What is this so far? It's telling us there's nothing on there, but it's anticipating spending about two billion three hundred eleven million okay and probably reduce that 197,536 at 0.0 but you can't give me any analysts currently available for this legislation how sad uh foster care is true okay crime anything from crime the drug courts, uh, I've already implemented that. That would be the crime rehabilitation for the cities. I've implemented that. Uh, so let's go and see what my um, challenge is, is. If anything, they want me to reduce the tax. This is up next week. Next week. Uh, reduce income taxes. Reduce income taxes. Abolish Medicaid expansion. Mm, that's not going to happen. Access to health care. Please do something to make health care 
available to large portion of the population. Your constituent Casey has said this, and that expired uh, expires next thirty four. Increase minimum wage. Yes, honey. What y'all want? Y'all want me to increase minimum wage? That was one of my promises that I said I was going to keep and reduce gasoline taxes. Y'all want me to reduce gasoline tax and y'all want me to uh, increase the minimum wage. Uh, gasoline tax is at 0.18 point percent. Uh, again, ladies and gentlemen, when you receive these types of services from your people, you get political, you get what is called political points. But again, you can see that I have 11,664,576 political points. And these political points, again, they help out with uh you know your relationships between you know progressive moderate conservative those are all the people who i show you when the bill is being introduced on the floor when they have their little angry faces and what they want and what they need and how they need and how they want it. and it says right here political influences the effects you have on other politicians and i have a lot i think i have the most in the game i try to put the most in the game and my name recognition is definitely off the charts, way over. So, um, so yeah, so that's kind of cool. Uh, okay, so reduce income taxes. That right there I'm going to stay away from because, again, this is giving me the current. But if I will have to reduce it, I'll. They, some people will be like, okay, we'll just do first and second. But if I have to do it across the board, I have to. But, again... I'm not really worried about the political points because I have a lot. So it's not like I can just go ahead and ignore. I can just ignore some of this or dismiss it. Um, so, yeah. So I think my next moment and move here will be the increased minimum wage. But we have, we're going to be, we're going to be, uh, there are going to be some bills that's going to be up on the floor. Uh, so at this time, I'm going to go ahead and, do uh minimum wage so minimum wage would be under uh other i think or poverty minimum wage it's at 10 10 and that's interesting because i put i i set 10 10 on 10 10 2020 and speaking of 10 10 2020 that's the same day a couple of things went down on that day uh it was a saturday number one uh the uh after dark with ts madison happened on 10 10 2020 and also cynthia bailey and uh got married on that day um she got married in um on 10 10 2020 okay so shout out to her all right so uh let me just go ahead let me see 10 10 10, 15, 10, 20. I'll go ahead and put it to 10, 20. I can't put it to 10, 16 because today is 10, 16. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it to 10, 20. Okay. Continue. Do we got a bill? Um, okay. So recent studies suggest that increase the minimum wage. I uh, suggest an increase in the workers earning without decreasing job growth. That's all I want to hear. Continue. There you go. Okay, so hopefully they are happy that I did that, uh, which they are happy right there. Then my next, I will go ahead and reduce gasoline taxes. I'll probably mess around with this reduce income tax tax breaker, but right now I'm just going to hold off. Okay, next turn. Okay, so my HR1 has, um, okay, wow, they saying, see, there we go. So apparently I failed my um my uh constituents request at reducing the income tax and that was the, the challenge that was at hand uh that I had said that I was going to do it. Yeah, of course you're gonna say big meanie red. Okay, goodbye, goodbye. I was gonna do it if you guys was gonna see right here I was gonna do it, but if you guys would have waited then I would have done it, but I guess here would they give it to you? I guess multiple people is asking for me to do it. 
Cause see, you see it, they doing it here once and then doing it again and then see how they asking me here and then they wanted me to do it here again. Uh, and, and I'm thinking this must be too different because here, look at the, the political points that they're gonna give here and here it's double down, All right? So uh, apparently my HR three pathway to citizenship has made it past the house and they made it uh, past the Senate and according to here, we have uh, on the floor. Okay, so the House says exactly what we need. Majority says I uh, created great legislation. Okay. Um, oh, look. Isn't this something? We're getting support from everyone across the board. Libertarian Caucus is saying that they're very optimistic and they're successful for this legislation. They have their support. The moderate Republican Caucus says that this is a good piece of legislation. This is something amazing on this day. Everybody is agreeing with me on something. And the Republican Conservative Committee press conference said this is a good piece of legislation. You don't normally get this. Well, you do get this. Like I think we did see this in the... Um, in the uh, the um, the House and the Senate before when they was trying to pass the coronavirus bill and they was getting the money out to people. They seen it bipartisanism across the board from everybody. But right here, this is just amazing. Everybody is supporting this, man. Like, nobody is saying they oppose this. Like, this is something. The modern Democratic Coalition says that they, uh, um, they're supporting legislation. And the uh, the progressive Democrat that they say they supported, maybe we should have just been put this out a long time ago. Uh, oh, this is the um, the increased minimum wage. Uh, not increased minimum wage. This is the uh, increased work visas. And remind you, uh, all of them had uh, said that they were going to do this uh, before. Well, we have a little bit of um, uh, Republicans. I mean. Representatives not in favor, especially in Republicans. Okay, continue. Support. Okay, so that's something that was kind of good. Good. All right, so challenge. Let's go to go to legislation. Let's create legislation. Let's come over here to the, they did say gasoline tax, right? They wanted me to bring it down. So I'll bring it down to uh 16 today is 16 today is 16 okay don't push it okay i'm going to continue with that and then i'll just go ahead and move over um hr1 has become law now uh this is for hr3 of course uh oh shit my bad. So, well, no. Okay, 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 okay. So, some people, people like Kareem, you, you look at you right there. You, you put, you put the, you put the horse before the water, or the water before the horse. Now, now, people were asking me. Okay, hold on. Let me just do this real quick. People was asking me. They were saying, "Listen, you wanted to, uh, you want, you had a constituent asking you to abolish Medicaid expansion." And then we went to go see what Medicaid expansion was doing for people, right? We see that it was saving about a million people. But then in my campaign promise, I had said that I was going to abolish Medicaid. That's only because I said to y'all in the beginning, if y'all was with me from the beginning, I said these words. I said, it's got to get worse before it get better. And I did also say that if I was going to take money from out of the... Um, out of these programs, I was going to do it by, uh, you know, bringing the money out of it and then abolishing it. I didn't know it, it's going to take you way more than four years, eight years to completely abolish Medicaid expansion. It's just not going to work, honey. OK, you can't just get rid of all those millions of people and say, OK, well, it's all good. There is people who are surviving under Medicaid expansion. You just cannot get rid of it within the four years or perhaps the eight years that you're in office. It's just not going to happen. OK, so, again, that was that. I want to put some clarification on that where I want to clarify what that meant when it says here, when you see my campaign promise has uh, has failed. 
And 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 again, we see some of the people saying to uh, get rid of it, but it's just that okay. When I looked at it, and I think I showed you this in the last video or the video before that, uh, that it was saving and helping a lot of people. But again, I can't get rid of it just like that. Sorry. Okay, so uh, apparently the uh, the ways the House and Ways and Means Committee has gone ahead and granted the bill, and they said that uh, it made it through the committee with a thirty nine to zero. So uh, we have um, support on both hands. He's proud of support. Speaker of the House, uh, party leader said his support. Uh, libertarian oppose it. Modern Republican supports it. Uh, the uh, Progressive House supports it. The Modern Democrat Coalition supports it. Uh, the Conservatives uh, supports it. And the uh, Libertarian Caucuses and Republican Caucuses, they oppose it. Legislation for H.R. 3 established a program allowing 7,845,000 586 immigrate, immigrants to become citizens, and I'm going to support that. Okay, and with that being said, I think this number is going to change. Uh, so now we have 399, uh, 399,857,229 as population. So if I go out there, just adding that other two here, this should change. I don't know if it might change throughout, let's see, um, 33, 32, 33, 36. No, nah, it's not going to change yet. Okay, it's not going to change yet because um, they're going to count it at the end of the uh, the. Uh, so that's good to know for those who want to know um, uh, how this works. I think in the metrics, I think all this stuff is effective when the, the, the year is over. So right now we are week 10, 37. So the next probably would go, they probably give the data for 37. So when we get to population, the 37 will pop up of when that changed. And then the um, immigration and all that other stuff will change. Okay, so... Uh, the gasoline tax, they actually, let's see, the HR4, uh, if you guys don't know what it is, the HR5 is the uh, decreasing gasoline tax rate, and the HR4 is the minimum wage. Uh, both of them have made it past the committees. Uh, now the HR4 is up. They're saying this is exactly what we need. Majority said they have the full support. Opposing it, Libertarian, Modern, and also Republican Conservatives, they are all opposing it, as well as the Modern uh, Democratic Coalition is opposing it. We have support for the Conservative Democratic, as well as the Progressive Democratic, and this is the minimum wage uh, jumping from 1010 to 1020, according to the analysts' uh, House uh, and Senate report. We're going to go ahead and support that. That has now become law. Next is the gasoline tax. Uh, I have successfully completed the challenge of campaign increasing minimum wage. Of course, that was one of my highlight goals, especially on the campaign ads when I was trying to attack those motherfuckers. They uh, pretty much, uh, I got my money's worth for the ads that I had put out on them. According to, uh, according to here, okay, now, this is something that they're saying no to. I guess this is because, um, you know, cutting spending. And this is because I try to make a promise to people. But again, of course, they're going to say they want me to veto this. Uh, okay, so apparently this is good for the Republicans because they feel that they are going to get more for their money on the people. So apparently... The uh, Republican caucuses, Republican conservatives, and the socialist conservatives. I'm sorry, the Republican, Republican caucuses, modern Republican caucuses, Republican co conservative committee is all supporting me. They're saying they support it, support it. Okay, and the social conservative Democrat is opposing as well as my own party is opposing. I don't want to piss them off, so I'm not going to... Um, 
I'm not going to um, bring that down. I'm going to just oppose it. Okay, it's not going to become law. Because if my own progressive people would say don't do it, I'm not going to do it. So I know the people are going to be pissed off uh, when it comes to reducing gasoline. Uh, let's see. Okay, so that's completed. And uh, the next one, my constituents want me to uh, lower the income, I mean, lower the uh, taxes in the bracket. Okay, so, all right, what's happening in news? Okay, so I, I didn't do anything. State, wow, he's getting, he's getting the, he's like my same, he might, no, he's not, he's not that my age. Uh, but his great here, his wrinkles is coming. He's been a governor ever since I left governor of, um, New Jersey. Governor of New Jersey, 23, 35, 35, 39. Okay, so let's see. Um, is there any events that we can do? Nah, because we're already, I'm already automatically doing it too. So, okay, so let's see. Uh, that's done, that's done, that's done. Uh, that's done, and that done. I don't know about reducing this uh, income taxes. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let's see. What what can we do with our veterans? Uh, provide disability. We they have that. Healthcare to veterans. Retirement. They have the education, and it's just, they all have that for them. Education. Uh, matter of fact, let me just come here real quick, and then go to. My contacts, let's contact them, give a speech. Let's see. And uh, let's go ahead and contact them, give a speech to these guys. I don't know, maybe because I feel like going out and doing something. Um, uh, okay, here, let me just see something. Department. Why wow, it's still raining. It's going to be raining all day, all night on this Friday. It's a Friday. It's raining really like all day, all night. When I woke up this morning, it was raining. When I uh, finished working, it was raining. When I come on live, it was raining. When I'm in, in the middle of live, it's raining. When I'm going to end live, it's going to be raining. It's just going to be raining at nighttime. And actually, it's going to be raining all the way until tomorrow morning, Saturday morning. So it's just going to be really bad. Okay, so I need to come down to my defense. No. Um, justice. Now, okay, so you don't have the full report on those numbers. And I need to... Don't we have somebody for immigration? No, that's Department of Defense. This is uh, um, see, this is the whole Medicaid expansion thing. I can't get rid of that. Well, damn. Okay, uh, let's move on. Next, money, money. Is it really not? I can really do. I can't really do anything now. That's national. Uh, probably just try to like do some more um legislations or a campaign. I'm not gonna do that because um yeah it's whatever. Uh, Twenty challenges. Let's see if we could do anything. Um. Uh, education. Grants, We've got poverty, homeless shelter. See, this is gonna again. This is gonna be providing more money that we don't have. Uh, health. Uh, there's a Medicaid experience. Medicaid has a program that increase. You know what? Let me just see something. Uh if I um, hold on. So this is the whole Medicaid expansion right here. Program to increase Medicaid eligibility to large portion of individuals, while traditionally Medicaid may limit eligibility to low-income children, parents, low-income 
Children's Medicaid expansion to provide Medicaid health care to low-income individuals. So, so far, this is how much we're spending, about $15 billion, $15 billion. And 0 0.2.4, 0, 102.4, 102.4, 102.3. Okay, we're just going to do that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that and see what happens. Uh, maybe we can just take some, again, we're just taking money out of the budget instead of totally not getting rid of it. Let's see what they might say about that. Um, House and Energy Com Commerce Committee. Okay. They're saying that it's been granted a hearing and... Uh, yeah, probably, probably the um, probably Republicans are not gonna like me. Uh, some of them, they probably gonna like me. Probably the Democrats are not gonna like me because again, that's reduced spending. Uh, instead of spending more, so hopefully I'll get it bipartisanism across the board. Okay, what are they saying? Um, defense, they're asking to provide four hundred twenty-five billion. And they all agree in, okay, support. Um, expand visas. I just did the damn visa thing. I, I just did the visas. I just gave y'all visas. Y'all want me to expand it now? Oh, by, tw by 2039, Kareem. So that's another... Two two more years. So they want me to just do that by the end of um my um my third term, my um three years. Okay, so they saying all the close one appropriate ninety eight billion. What they saying on the house? Okay, everybody agreeing. Okay. HR seven, HR seven, HR seven is the uh just to give record for the record is the Medicaid expansion program. Let's see what my constituents say. Speaker of the House, regard, I'm sure he's gonna say no. Oh, he said I could not have written a better legislation. Uh, he said you shouldn't be proud of legislation. Okay, so I guess they are happy. Uh. Libertarian opposed, moderate Republican caucuses support. Republican conservative committee, they oppose. The Democratic conservatives uh, support. Democrat coalition support. And also the progressive Democrat, they support. Here's the Medicaid expansion. Instead of getting rid of it all, we're just going to decrease it. Uh, and Hopefully, well, we have a lot of Republicans that say no. Okay, so, all right, it becomes law. HR nine, commerce, justice, and science, and this is something that they're providing. Everybody says yes, support. Okay, uh, HR ten. Let me see challenge. They want me to do the visa and reduce Medicare tax. Um, $22 billion. Okay, what is, what is a Medicaid tax? Medicaid tax, Medi Medicaid tax, Medicaid tax. Uh... Medicaid tax. No, I don't think that's what that is. University. University. Oh, look at this. 
The University Healthcare Program to provide all citizens with access to free healthcare. The healthcare is free in the sense that patients do not receive a bill for service provided. Instead, the government uses tax revenues to pay for any health care services provided to its citizens. This is known as a single payer system because all health care payment come from a single source of government. Develop warning. The current effect of university health care in this game are oversimplifying and may be unrealistic. Creating this program will request raising taxes, but the approval rating for taxes will likely increase, which uh, seem unrealistic. Now, that's what I was going to say. Once when you have, um, the only way you would do this university health care is when these metrics is all green. When the metric is all green. You can't have no red. Because if you do that and you try to implement that in there, you're going to have a big, big problem. Uh, let's see. Our income tax credit. Let me see what we got here. Um, you know what? I think I did bring this down in the beginning. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and um, put some more money in their pockets. That's 2750 Nine, four. Uh, let's put a little bit more money in the pocket. Three thousand. I think it was four thousand. It was four thousand for these guys and five hundred. I think that's what it was. Okay, so doing that for them. Let's see what they say. Okay, so it made it to the um the House Ways and Means Committee, and they are saying that it voted thirty seven to two. Here, six hundred twelve billion dollars, and this is for who? For the IRS. Okay, provide funding to programs under the judicial, the judicial of the Treasury Department, including funding for the IRS and payment for the interest of the national debt. Well, anything for the national debt, right? According to this, the HR 14 has, okay, so let's see, the increased tax credit for payment with children. See, you see, they can't be, the citizens cannot be mad at me, okay? They cannot be mad at me for doing this. Oh. Yeah. They can't be mad at me for doing this. Right. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm increasing the tax credit for the taxpayers with children from two thousand seven hundred fifty dollars to four thousand dollars, and the tax credit for taxpayer with children from two ninety twenty nine dollars to five hundred dollars. And the only reason why I'm doing that is because since then to now our population has increased. And there's more people, more children, and I think that this would be something that people will love because as they, um, as we're approaching almost the end of 37, uh, they'll be able to file their taxes and get more money. Who will want more money? I want more money. Okay, so um, here, we're going to go ahead and uh, do him name security. Uh, he's doing $46 billion. So let's see. Across the board, zero support. Uh, let's see. This is the grant to the bill for the Senate Finance Committee. No, I have not. I have not played Karima ever since I told you guys about it from the beginning. I haven't really played that. I haven't really played it at that time because um, because I wanted to see. How? Because again, I wanted to like you know, uh, uh, pick pick vote on a judge or vote on cabinet members. You feel me? But apparently, I couldn't do that. Okay, look at this HR fourteen. They said, oh, here we go. Instead of going through the um, the uh, what you call it, we can see right here that they had a hundred hundred against everybody in the Senate uh, approved for that. And this is the interior and environment. Support. 
Okay, if he comes to law. Okay, uh, labor, health, and human services education. Okay, uh, wow. So they are asking for three trillion, twenty-five billion, two hundred nine million seventy-seven thousand three hundred sixty-three dollars. And everybody's saying yes on that. I'm going to support it. And then here, this would be the HR 14. This would be the tax credit for the uh, low income middle class. Okay, I don't know if that was a promise that I had kept to them, but let's see. According to the speaker, they're saying they have my full support. Majority leader, he does not like this. Okay. Libertarian support, moderate Republican support, Republican conservative support, socialist, conservative Democrat oppose, moderate supports, and progressive Democrat, my own people uh, oppose it. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to support it. Even though I got enough of, I got a lot of Republicans that say yes. And I got a lot of Democrats that say yes on the, on the House. All the Senate says yes, and I'm going to support it. It's become law now. Legislation branch, uh, $2 billion. Okay. Veterans. 182 billion. Okay. And next, state and fire operations. Okay, yeah. Transportation and housing, urban development. 130 billion. Now, it, okay, he's they doing it. Okay, there we go. Uh, increase middle wage. You support new legislation to Congress. Oh, wait a minute. So, you're going to try to increase? So, he wants to. So, I just increased this to. So, you want to go ahead and do it to $12. HR 21. HR 21. HR 21, where is it at? Okay, it's going to come to my desk. I know what it is. Um, it, may, it may not because we're probably almost, almost up. All right, so we're at week 41, 42, 43. Uh, let me see it. what can I do uh, almost at the end of the year. Um, let me check on see what the constituents is asking me. They want me to reduce Medicaid, to abolish Medicaid expansion. They still want me to do this bullshit. Um, uh, reduce the Medicaid taxes, expand visas. Let me see. Um, other uh, veterans they did a lot for veterans um snap let's do snap let's see snap here um receive 1290 let's bring this down can we bring this down 996 996 996, 996. let's bring this down I'll tell you i want to bring some money out of all this uh let's do it at let's do it at 90. well yeah i know unfortunately the numbers go down for that uh but then you know what um that's at 90. let me see these numbers go up oh well Okay, I'll increase the, the, the balance to here. Okay. 
I'll bring it down, but I increase that. Try to um, bring it, bring it before, across the board. Let's see if we can do this before the end of the year. Um, made it to the committee. Uh, they voted. Obstacles and Nutrition and Forestry Committee. It has been given a hearing. Okay, so let's see. We can do this before the end of the year. Uh, 50 and 50. Okay, so let's see. You guys say great legislation. He says great legislation. Oppose, 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 support, oppose, and progressive support. That's all I need from them to support it. What is he saying? So let's see what he's saying. Um, this legislation will provide 49 million individuals with access to supplement nutrition a cost of 69 trillion. 1.4 total federal budget. So he's saying, expert testimony, he's saying that a recent study has con concluded that approximately 5% of the people reported reduced food intake at some point during the year due to an ability to afford food. Almost 15% of the people report food insecurity, insecurity during the year where food is insecurity is defined as an ability to provide the quality and variety of food they want to eat. With access to the SNAP, that's S-N-A-P program, food stamps, it is estimated that nearly 10% of the population was lifted out of poverty. Food stamps are especially important for children receiving access to food stamps at an important early age has been shown to reduce health risks, including high school graduate rates and increased job earnings. One study found that nearly 70% 70 70 of SNAP, that's S-N-A-P, spending goes towards family with children. This legislation will reduce eligibility and is so doing increase the effort of poverty on those individuals no longer receiving assistance. It will also likely reduce the education and economy potentially of children who no longer has access to supplemental nutrition. <sighs> Pardon the Thanksgiving turkey. Let's see who we're gonna pardon today. His name is Cedric. You take your place on the White House lawn. The air is crisp in the late autumn morning. The sunlight filters through the tree limbs. They have shred nearly all their leaves. A crowd of photographers and guests stand across from you. In front of you, stand on the table, is a confused or disgruntled looking turkey named Cedric. Once all of the photographs have gotten in position, you announce that you hereby pardon Cedric the turkey, will, who will live out the remaining of his natural life in a peace, peace and happiness. The crowd cheers and applauds. Cedric turns towards you, and for a moment you think you see gratitude in his eyes. You smile and return to the White House. The event has ended. All right, week 47. And boom, just raised all that money. And here we go. And then a news. Uh, I don't think I got that at that point. Okay. And it's saving. Okay. So let's see here. We raised money. It says in 2038, the following elections will take place. The State House, Governor, U.S. House, U.S. Senate, Class 2. After week two, you can see which incumbents will not seek re-election by view of the district tab within the politicians. Menu. If the incumbent is not running for re-election, it will say so under the district. Senate retired notification can be found in the National uh, news page. Oh my God, my dude Andy will not 
be seeking re-election due to reaching the term limit for the position. If you run this election, you have a good chance of winning. Yeah, because I was already governor already. So that means, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to be able to be the president anymore after 20, uh, after, let's see, after 2041. Because we just we just heard now, because we see here that if we go to politician and we come to state, and we get the governor, Andy, his term is up. See, if you come to his history, he's already been the term, like his term for, uh, wait, yeah, because like he, because he was already the governor for, um, for, um, this first term, 2033 to 2035, he was already the governor. And then now he was the governor again, right? Stay with me. He was the governor again from 2035 to 2039, which I have not already went into the next year. It's already over. 37 is already over. Okay. And that's going to be 38. That's going to serve from 38 to 39. So somebody's going to be taking his seat. So that means that as federal, me as being a president, because this would be my two term. That means my term is coming up oh, almost, uh, uh, we got 38, at the end of 30, 30, 39, 38, at the end of 38, next year, at the end of 38. No, at the end of 39, uh, it'll be coming up. Or it could be at the end of 40. I don't know. It could be probably at the 40, because it probably goes so long, right? Where I'll be up for... Um, like president, because I don't think I'll, because I'm not, I'm not playing in dictation mode, so it's not like I'm going to be the president forever. So, but, you know, I'm going to go under ranking. As you would see, I'm the top in ranking. I'm higher over everybody. I'm top in ranking and get somebody that's going to be high, but I'm higher ranking. So, I don't know. Maybe I might go back as being the, uh, Playing as the Senate. Uh, so what's up for re-election? So what's up for re-election? State. Uh, state House is up for re-election. The State Senate under the state is up for re-election. Governor is up for re-election, which he decides not to run again. And let's see, what else is up? Uh, U.S. Senate and House of Representatives. So, again, we will see uh, on the federal House, they're up for grabs. And so far, we have 58% 50, of representatives for Democrat. And that would be great to have majority of 100%, but it's not going to happen. And... Um, and then we will see who's going to be up for re-election, who's encumbering, who's not going to run again. And then for the uh, Senate, it's 53 to 47. Okay, so we are in next year. And I'm going to go ahead and end it here. But before I end it here, I would like to uh, show you guys what has taken effect, what will be taken in effect, what has happened so far. We're already in week for week one, 2038. And again, I'm up at 2041. So I will, you know, um, when I come back, I will definitely play from here and, um, you know, show you guys what's happening. But in the meantime, uh, I can tell you guys, okay, as far as news, uh, hold on, hold on. Let me just see real quick the population. Ooh, 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 ooh look at that. It did go up. So it does change. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I didn't even want to look at that. But, yeah, so the population went up because, again, we had added our immigration to the system. So we do have um, citizenship for Im immigration. Uh, again, I don't know how we can get these voter registration numbers up. I don't really know how we can do that. 
but I'm going to see how we can do that in the next video. But in the same way, let's do the overview. We still see in a lot of reds here, but again, like I said, it ain't like overnight is going to become green. Uh, I can see immigration right here as a smile in a face because it looked like when a military, we haven't really done nothing for our military. So I think in the next video, I'll try to do something for the military because the number is pointing down and that's not good. Poverty, uh, since I've done a lot of things by taking money from out of poverty, it looked like it's going down, um, which I'm not really sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it's in the red. Uh, the debt, it looked like it's looked like it's a 0.7 percentage. The carbon efficiency, I know I lost that. That was kind of in the green last time, and I know it's um in the red. But immigration is the only thing that's in the green. Uh yes, yeah, skyrocket up, man. Skyrocket up. And I, that wasn't even one of my um one of my um campaign promises. What's up with my department's effic efficiency? Oh my god. Why is that? Okay, so education service, they did say that when I uh, messed with the uh, food stamp thing, it was going to show a ripple effect across the board through our educational service, especially through our health service. And it looked like the effect of our agriculture service because I, I increased the food stamps. But you know what? Hey, um, damn, I feel sorry. But you know what? Technically, like, um, it's my second term. It's my second year as being the president. Like, obviously, if the governor position is up of New Jersey, my position is going to be up. Uh, because apparently, um, you know, they're not going to give me another term. So I guess I got to do something. And... If I do something that's going to be right so far for the next administration, whether or not it's going to be another Democratic or another Republican, listen, honey, just like we say in real life, when the incumbent was Barack Obama and the uh, new president was Trump, when he got something, he inherited, this guy ain't going to be able to do it for no four years and ain't no going to do it for no eight years. When Bush was in office and he got his... Uh, 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 when, when Obama took office, it was something that he couldn't take care of. So my thing is the next person who's going to inherit the administration, whether or not it's four years, eight years, you ain't going to be able to change this. Now, I think you can do it as a state because I did it. And now you can see that this man messed it up. But I did it. His economy is 100 percent. Right. He he did it. Look at this. And and they got a population of 11 million. But when you have a nation at 403 million, it's like you're not going to get this in no four years. You're not going to get red into the green in no four years, in no eight years. I'm sorry, it's not going to happen. Now, at city, I could I, I could understand because you don't have that many people. You're looking at 933,219 people for city jersey. This is the people in City Jersey. But the um the state and the national, especially national, you ain't gonna be able to get this. You you deal you're dealing with uh a lot when it comes to national because again, as you see the tabs, you see it has the city and the state with all the way to law. And then uh I'm sorry, um we add in military immigration. Those are just more numbers that's coming in. More numbers. Uh, it looked like illegal immigration dropped. Uh, deportation. This dropped. It looked like it dropped down. Remember, they, it's part of the campaign. Um, I'm sorry, part of the office and the challenges. They wanted me to add some more visas to the... Um, to this, they wanted me to add more visas. And right now we're giving out 1,207,865 
visas, from family visas, org visas, diversity visas, and refugee visas. So immigration is loving me right now, but uh, I think coming um, on the next stream, I will look at uh, military. I'm not really sure what we could do with them, but I think there is some things that I can uh, expedite out for them. Uh, let's see. Uh, legislation, health, no, let me see, budget, and uh, that will be something. Okay, we do have a trust fund at $67 billion, but let me see, the right here, it will be all these guys here. I'm not really sure what we can implement for them, but, and again, Okay, so how much are we pulling in for our um marijuana taxes? Is it pulling in? Okay, is that zero point one percent? So that's just showing it ain't it is it's nothing. Like it ain't is nothing. It's nothing. It's nothing. That's nothing. They want that number to be up, man. As much people smoke marijuana. Oh heck no! This gotta be up. I got. I'm gonna increase this because look at that's not even. It says zero point zero. Okay, I I thought it was gonna say zero point five or zero point two, but I'm up in that to like um. We gotta at least bring in a billion dollars for this. I, I don't care what anybody say. Uh, let me see. Uh, first tax bracket, second tax. They want me to drop that. They want me to lower taxes. Uh. Everything increased for these guys. 2023 20, 20, deduction expansible. Yeah, I know we're spending more than we're pulling in, so gotta fix that. So much money we're pulling in from all the tax brackets. Again, uh, we're pulling more money from the first tax bracket. Holy shit! Oh. Oh, oh yes, oh yes. The first tax bracket. I'm gonna and wait a minute. How come? Oh my God! Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Um. Yes. Okay. That's my next, um, I didn't even notice that. Oh my God, I, I should have paid attention to this um, in the beginning. Um, what are we looking at right here? Okay, so yeah, right here, right here, right here, right here. Right. Okay, so majority of the money is coming from the first tax bracket and these are people who are making way more money and there's so much income taxes. No, it should be reverse. Like this 14.14 should be under in the sixth bracket. And no, I'm sorry. The fourth tax bracket. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, hold no, hold on, hold on. Whoa, god darn. Hold up. Wait a minute. 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 Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. On my next video, I'm definitely gonna work this out. I definitely gotta see this like this. This 37 has to be down here to this 6. This 21 has to be down here to this 5th. And then this 16, the 16th is in the right place. I'm sorry. Yeah, the 16th is in the right place. Then this, at least, what? This 1-4 needs to be up here to these guys. And then this one needs to be down here. Okay, we're going to fix that because that is so crazy that the second, the middle class people was paying way a lot more than, you definitely got it, my people. Let me see. Challenges. Uh, reduce. Where is it at? No, 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 no. I, I got y'all. Let me see. Um, income taxes. Look at this. Oh, heck no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Wait a minute. We pulling more money from the uh from the first tax bracket than any other. 10.45. And no. 
Absolutely not. That's income of less than ten thousand. I mean, more than ten thousand, more than thirty-eight thousand, more than ninety-one thousand. And okay, I gotta really look at this because. And that's probably why people were saying that they just want to exactly a flat, flat tax, this flat tax thing. And like flat tax everybody at whatever. I should have tried. Let me see if you say true. It says that we'll be bringing in one trillion four hundred seventeen billion. And let's see, this legislation will pro pro produce a tax revenue of one. Okay, so let's see, it's going to increase in taxes by 5,927 per taxpayer. That says increase in taxes. Let me read this again. Um, one, one, four, one, seven, three. One, four, one, seven, three, one, four, five. Okay, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna um fix the tax uh, for the middle class, like all all my people's right here, because this don't make no sense. I didn't even realize that. I really didn't realize that, like, honestly. Okay, so, all right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for um, tuning in. So I didn't even really get to this real quick. So, again, uh, let me just show you, uh, tell you guys real quick what's happening for my next um, video that I'm going to be doing. Um okay so as we can see right here right now you know what that's something that i don't have i don't have my command in chief badge on i gotta put my command in chief badge hello love but you want to eat yep yeah, uh, i'm about to end i know but boy okay so let's see um city law is in effect um for city jersey is tax reform decreased property tax rate? See, they doing it up over there. I gotta find. You know what? I think that's what I'm gonna do next time when I come up on here. I'm gonna go to the city and state and see what the hell they doing, and then see what I can do here. Cause obviously, I I, I I totally totally missed that. Wow, City Jersey is legalizing the sales of cannabis. That's because um we already done it at national level, so they doing it there. And the, the state already had it already in play. Where I already implemented that when I was governor of New Jersey. Uh, okay, so state law affect HR1 income tax decrease second tax bracket rate. Well, I'll be damned. I, I, you know what? That's my problem. I think the whole time I did say I was staying away from taxes. But you know what? At this time, I'm going to lower taxes for the first tax bracket, second tax bracket at the same time when I create my budget when I come back on the video next time, all right? And then at a national law, this is everything that um, I had worked at and what everybody was doing when I was doing the legislation. Uh, S1 grant uh, for state and local drug courts established programs funding is determined during the appropriate process. The S2 grant in city and crime rehabilitation program established program funding determined during appropriate process. H1 workforce immigration program increased work visas from 140,000 to 142,500. National law HR3 passed the citizenship established an allowance 7 million, uh, which uh, sends our um, uh, uh, population up. The minimum wage increased from 1010 to 1020. Somebody's legislation is going to do it to $12. HR5 gasoline tax decreased rate. So all my motorists and drivers out there on the highway, there you go. You're happy. Medicaid expansion, decreased medi uh, Medicaid ability. I know that took away a lot of people, uh, but it said that a uh, rate of 102.40% probably level to 100% of the poverty level. Uh, I know people wanted me to get rid of it all across the board, but I just feel that if I did that, a lot of people will be suffering. And I figured just 
why I do it for all when you could just do a handful. I mean, uh, I'm sure a majority of people, uh, it did mess me up as far as the um, department efficiency because that shows across the board, across a whole lot of, um, you know, uh, the, the, the different levels. HR 14, the earned income tax credit, uh, which I also increased from 2750 to 4000 and I increased the tax credit, which normally that's what we get nowadays today, uh, $500 per child. Also, HR 22, the Supplement Nutritional Assistance Program, I decreased eligibility rate to 99.60, poverty level to 94.80%. And the poverty level increased average benefits from 1290 to 1400 Again, I told you guys in the beginning, first episode, I said it got to get worse before it gets better. Um, I think this is already saved. Uh, let me see. Just do a quick save. And... Um, No, hold on, let me see. Let me just go ahead here. Uh, it was 2038. Okay. All right, so we got 2038. And when I come back, I will be meeting with my secretary treasurer, uh, also um, the attorney general, secretary of arts culture, Health and human services. This is all the people that I normally meet. I mean, uh, I guess maybe those are the ones that normally have a report. It is what it is, right? Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for being here with me on this part of political process. We've been here, we had a great time. Shout out to those who are here, shout out to those who are on their way. Uh, I want to shout out to those on the Facebook. Uh, uh, the political process uh, group page. Shout out to those on YouTube. And today we had our special guest from the Periscope. So thank you guys so much. I think next time we come on, we will have a member from the Pretty Bitch Club. Also, too, let me go ahead and say I do want to apologize to I do want to apologize to some of my peoples over there on the Pretty Bitch Club because I know it was a new session that's supposed to be going down later on. Uh, but that had already been postponed, so you guys can look out on the Pretty Bitch Club for more information on that, okay? And I will be posting, matter of fact, I'll probably just go ahead and do, like, a video and, um, you know, let you guys, uh, fulfill you guys on what's happening, okay? Okay, so again, shout out to Jabbar Law. Thank you so much for being here and, uh, watching and spending time with us. Shout out to Al Nicholson. Shout out to Daquan Jones as well. We also do have uh, more information on the blog page where you guys can uh, follow the session. So that will be happening um, on the blog page. You guys can go up there. And I think that if you guys can look at the um, bottom, which has the uh, the Wix page, that's where you can go for the blog page. Okay, and also shout out to the Omega Studios and Talk Show T on YouTube. Okay, so yes, thank you guys so much. This has been another uh, episode of Political Process. Again, guys, for more information, you guys can visit the blog page. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye.